Hi guys, my name is Jose from Jayco Agency and today I'm going to be showing you how to make, how to build your own expense tracker. It's very easy to build and really it's just a simple workflow in N8N and I'm connecting these to Google Sheets. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do this. So first of all, we're, we're going to just, um, we're going to test it so you can see how it works. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be with the, start with a chat. It's gonna be ice cream. Let me show you if I don't have anything here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna delete this. Ice cream, eight dollars expense. Okay, so it's gonna be called the AI agent, the workflow input trigger. It's going to be calling this execute workflow trigger and it's going to be yeah perfect so i have this very well parsed and very well defining each own variable so yeah that's how it works let me show you how you can build this from scratch okay so i'm going to hide the chat and i'm going to show you all the nodes so first of all you need to prepare your credentials you you will need an open ai account uh, with your credentials. If you don't know how to do this, you can create your own credentials. You put the API key that you can get it from the console and the base URL, you can copy just what I have here. Okay. Yeah, since I only have one, I can admit this. And I'm going to go also to the Google Sheets uh, account. I will do this with um, with the Google Sheets or OAuth API key. So you just have to go to the Google Cloud Console and you just get, you just have to create a, a consent screen and then a web application uh, to retrieve your token. Uh, yes, your token. I think it's your, your token and your secret key. So yeah, after that is done, you can proceed with creating a node that is called when chat message received. In this case, can put it you can find it here on chat message you can put it a uh, webhook uh, re references your website or any other platform external platform or you can just put a trigger that is in telegram or whatsapp or anything uh, possibilities are endless so yeah we're gonna just for simplicity we're gonna just put the when chat message is, is received and we're gonna add an ai agent the AI agent, you just have to click this AI agent. And what this is doing is just taking um, the prompt source code. The prompt source is connected chat trigger node. So it's going to be references the previous, previous node. So in this case, when chat message received, in this case, the chat input is going to be what is going to take it. And the system message, your helpful accountant, use the save DB tool to save expenses or income. Perfect. So after this is done, you're going to have to put uh, into an AI agent an open AI chat model. It doesn't have to be open AI. I put it for simplicity, but you can ch change it to Angra, to Grog, to uh, Cloud, to any model that you would like, Gemini. In this case, I put open AI account and the model GPT-40 mini. So it's, it's cheaper. And this is optional, guys. In this example, I put a window buffer memory. In this case, the context window length is five messages. So what that means is you just have to, yeah, the, the agent is going to be just re remembering the, just the previous five messages. You can tweak this, say 50 messages. But for this example, it's not necessary because it's just an exp expense tracker. If you want to make an agent that really talks to you and have context of the conversation, you can change this to more messages. Okay, so after this, I put a, an edit field so you can just field to set response. This is just uh, like, it's not necessary, but I would like to, I like to do this. So it's very formal. Uh, so yes, it's just gonna have a, a response. So it's, it's known that it's all, all okay. And we're going to have, this is the fun part when you just call another workflow. So imagine that this work, sub workflow or workflow is going to be in another or it's going uh, 
uh, in another in an, 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 another automation page you're gonna be re referencing this workflow when this is called so in this case i create a workflow input trigger called expense.db uh, underscore db i'm sorry call this tool to save the expense to db and it's going to be references the same workflow i put it by id so how can you get this id is just the id of the workflow so it's going to be references this this uh, same workflow so when this is when this is called it's going to be triggering the execute workflow so so yeah what this is doing is just taking the query if we go to the execute workflow trigger and you want to test it you can do just you can copy this you can go to this set mock data and this is just for for testing ah, sorry just the query this and this so you can you can save it and you can test it so just to see how it works for you guys perfect it's working okay perfect so when you put this workflow input trigger is going to be calling this so imagine this query that we, we just copy and paste it here is gonna be passing through this workflow trigger. And what this is doing is just converting expense to JSON. We're gonna convert this query to JSON. So for this, this to happen, you have to put your schema type from attribute descriptions, and you have to put all the variables that you will like. This is, you can customize this as many variables as you will like. So in this case, I put the name cost is type number, and the description expense cost. It's required the description a string and description of the expense uh, or or income. You can put or income. Um, the date is type date. Uh, it's going to be description date in UTC format. And for, for last but not least, the type type string if it's an expense or an income. So what this is doing is just parsing. So JSON parsed text. So we're gonna just uh, be uh, separating the variables, cost, description, date, and type. How this is be being done with an open AI chat model, I put it a really very simple chip, GPT-40 mini, it's more than enough. And then we're gonna just referencing or passing the variables uh, through a Google Sheets. Uh, I call mine AI expense, the sheet is sheet one. And we're gonna be mapping column mode, map each column manually. You can put it uh, automatically, but I, I prefer to put manually so I can be very certain of what variables are being passed through the this each each column. So in this in this case, I just put date, cost, description, and type. And just I'm just dragging the the date here the cost here uh, type here and description right so pretty straightforward guys so we're gonna just test it and this is what the table looks like and yeah i just put a response model mapping response string this is my response so yeah and uh, here you can you can see your expenses you can we can test it again can test the workflow. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's unpin it and let's chat with the model. It's gonna be wage 100. It's gonna be an income. So let's see how it goes. It's gonna be passing the workflow input trigger. This is working on the background. And yeah, I have my expense. So yeah, pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this this tutorial. If you would like to, you if you like this tutorial, please subscribe. If you would like to uh, view more tutorial like this, you have any ideas that I can make, 
please let me know. Uh, I will be uploading a few ideas that I have in mind just that you can um, have this tutorial, very, very easy tutorial that you can follow along. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.